the only thing that works for me is drinking more the next day. Du är snedig, men det som kommer rätt på är inte så gott. Så jag har satt mig lite grann in på hur man kan undgå en hangover och vad som är stötta forskning och vad som är myte. Vi har spurt lite vad studenter i Bergen menar är goda tips för att undgå hangover och så kan vi samman lära lite vad som funkar och vad som är enten placebo eller har andra effekter på kroppen och What I usually do is just to uh, get home drunk and eat a lot of food. <laughs> I think eating, um, eating something uh, very fatty. Yeah. Um, the hamburger. Fats, the salts, everything what's in there usually helps with, uh, I don't know, the breakdown of alcohol. The salts definitely help with the, like keeping the, the liquids and water inside your body. Yeah. And it helps it like pick up uh, liquids better. Yeah. But um, we already consume a lot of uh, salt <laughs> in our true, daily diet, true. so uh, <laughs> we don't really need more. Um, but at least it feels good to be a bit. It doesn't feel good to be hungry and hangover at the same no, time. No, exactly. Yeah. You know? And the next day you probably can eat food because you feel so bad from the alcohol. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. Like uh, an empty stomach. If you drink with an empty stomach, you get a lot faster. Uh, yeah. Uh, drunk, right? Yeah. So Def that's uh, it's all at once rather experience. than. It's a really bad idea. Yeah. yeah, it's a very bad idea. The only thing that works for me is drinking more the next day. Or just continue drinking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> at some point you could actually get a hangover and drunk at the same time. That's that true, is the worst. That's, true, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah, I drink a lot of water after a night out. Oh yes, because you drink a lot of water before you go to bed. Yeah, but I still get the hangover. I just don't get so dehydrated. The kidneys. Um, they uh, they have a system to keep the water inside our body, but the alcohol sends a signal to just let everything out. Yeah. And uh, at that point, you just go to the bathroom. Yeah. And yeah. You get really dehydrated from True, that. Yeah. So um, <laughs> it's recommended to drink at least uh, a, a cup of water for every unit yeah. of alcohol. Uh, we usually forget on the night itself. So. I know, right? <laughs> it's a lot of water. Yeah. <laughs> I know swimming works actually. No. When you feel hangover, I've heard about you should that. go swimming. <laughs> uh, no. Physical exercise. Physical, or? Yeah. I'm sure not a lot of people would want to like go exercise. Drinking alcohol and you're getting drunk, you need, you're kind of paying the price of having a lot of that fun with being hangover. Yeah. yeah, so it's like a zero sum game of like yeah. happiness is constant, mm. and when you take too much, you have to give it back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alcohol does definitely actually like release serotonin. Uh, it does. Kind of a happy drug, as, yeah. you, as yeah. it's the, so well known. So in it the does brain. make you serotonin happy. Yes. Yeah, okay. absolutely. It's okay to be hangover and you still try to live a normal life and you still try to get out of the bed mm -hmm. and like stand up and actually walk outside yeah, and yeah. go for a walk or like try to just do normal stuff. Yeah, and role play. Yeah. That's 100% uh, that's true because uh, there is some sort of uh, depression proof that comes from uh, the hangover. Mm -hmm. Serotonin levels go up and they gotta go down again. It's the same yeah. thing. Uh, so, uh, Going up and doing something, like exercise, is like the only thing that is uh, scientifically proven to improve your uh, moods. Yeah.